we're going to finish up our notes on Neiman projections, and then I'd strongly suggest watching uh, the Neiman projections organic chemistry video that I sent you that goes over your practice sheet. Uh, I think it would be very important for you to uh, work on those problems as you are trying to them yourself, because these are tricky and they're not that easy to comprehend without practicing. So we left off talking about uh, the difference between uh, a Sager and an Eclipse is basically uh, that distance, okay? And uh, what that would be is what we call rotation barrier. As the barrier from the best uh, formation or projection with the least amount of strain to the one with the most strain. So one with the most strain would be an Eclipse, specifically a total Eclipse that has two different larger components that are sitting right in front of each other. And an anti or any kind of a staggered is when they are as far apart as possible, but an anti staggered is when the largest components are uh, in opposite uh, parts, uh, 180 degrees from each other. Okay, so let's talk about the strains. And it'll make more sense when you watch that help uh, video with your practice sheet, I promise. There are three kinds of strains, okay? The first one's torsional, okay? And uh, the big thing for that is, it's when you have bonded electrons. So uh, th this is the repulsion between bonded electrons. So basically, that's the difference between staggered versus eclipsed. You have a staggered and then you have an eclipse. The difference between those two and why one is so much more uh, favored and lower energy is because of the torsional strain or lack thereof. Okay? In a steric uh, strain, when you rotate these, again, it's about rotating them from one uh, position to another. A steric strain is about when it's atoms, when atoms are too close. Okay, so that is a lot of times, actually, when you have a staggered with another staggered. Uh, we're going to talk about that a lot eventually in uh, the help um, practice sheet, uh, is when you have like a goosh. So a goosh will be uh, like a methyl, and it's closer to a methyl. It's not eclipsing it, it's not in front of it, but it's close. And when you get too close, you're causing steric strain. Uh, this one is uh, uh, an angle strain, is only with rings. So right now, with Newman projections, we won't worry about that nearly as much. So in the box here, it says total strain, it's torsional strain, any bonded, or any bond eclipsed. A steric strain or any atoms too close, and an angle strain, again, that would be a ring. Okay, so let's just try to answer a few of these questions on the bottom. So, in general, why are staggered better than eclipse? Well, we would answer in terms of strain because there is less torsional strain. Period. Staggered doesn't have, staggered would look something like this, right? While eclipse, I take the same. Idea, the other one would be right in front of it. So that is the definition of proportional strain. Uh, why is Eclipse better than total Eclipse? Well, the difference between the two, if we take a look at this, let's just call this a CH3, okay? And then let's just say I have a CH3, but it's sitting over here. These other ones are H's. I just want to assume. And the other one, You had another CH3 right in front of it. This would be the total eclipse. Right, this is the total eclipse. Well, the difference between the two is again, you have compounds too close to each other. So that is steric. Why is anti better than a goosh? Okay, so this is an anti, let's say, right here. And let's put something on here. So let's say this is CH3 and this is CH3. A goosh would look something like this. So let's say we still have this here. Now you have that methyl a little close. You have this, this area where the, the two methyls are kind of close. So that is why 
a goosh is not as good as an anti. So when you get close and you have atoms that are too close together, that is steric. Whenever it's about the atoms being too close together, then that is steric. All right, let's see the next one. Why is goosh better than eclipse? Well, now I can probably just start taking these here. So let's just say this is my eclipse and this is my goosh. And the reason why uh, is because you have uh, this torsional strain. You're actually blocking it. This is this is an eclipse. This is a staggered still. Staggered always is going to be. This is an eclipse. So when you're comparing staggered to eclipse, you're always talking about torsional. Okay. When you compare an eclipse to eclipse or a staggered to a staggered then a lot of times you're talking about steric. And then finally, why is an anti better than a total eclipse? All right, let's take a total eclipse. I'm stealing all these. Here's my total eclipse, and here's my anti, because it's completely apart from each other. Ooh. All right. Why is that better? Well, when you go in between the two, first off, you're gonna have torsional. But you also have atoms too close together that are something other than an H, hydrogen. So you also have steric. So that is both. That is both. All right, let's go to the next page. So in summary, this is best. This is worst. And why is it greater? Because we're talking about energy. So this is a greater energy. This is a lower energy. Okay, very important that you're, you're recognizing that. So uh, there's all sorts of things that you can be reading here and kind of steps of how you're going to draw the, the Newman structure. So let's just talk about uh, moving down here a little bit. And uh, what's happening is it's talking about how you're making this. So if you were to look again, please watch the help video that goes over the practice Newman projection sheet. I think that really, really does help. So if I drew this all out, uh, this is an anti, okay? Like this is the back, right? This is the front of an atom, of a CC atom. So basically it's, and watching the video is gonna help you a lot more, uh, I promise but I'll try to do one on uh, number six down below. Uh, what if I wanted to do a staggered? All right, sorry, this is this is a staggered, it's an anti-staggered. But what about an eclipse? Let's do a total eclipse. So what I would do is I would draw a CH3, H, H, and then I'm gonna put the front atom, the front hydrogen uh, carbon, and then a total eclipse would have that um, methyl group right in front of it. So that is a total eclipse. Okay, so let's rank the rotation barriers for the following relative to the indicated bond. Uh, remember, uh, the bigger something is, you understand this or not, you will, the bigger uh, uh, a branch uh, or a uh, substituent is coming off of one of the um, carbons, the larger the rotation barrier. Meaning that you're going to have bigger strain. Okay. So, for example, if all of a sudden I add an extra stuff, it's going to just be creating more and more and more and more uh, stuff on here. So what I'm doing is I'm looking between these on this bond. So between these two carbons, between these two carbons, between these two carbons, between those two carbons, and then I'm assuming I meant between just those two. So the bigger it is the more uh, that there's going to be some strain. So like, look at all this stuff going on right there. So this will probably have the largest rotation barrier. Uh, there's more here, so larger there. Uh, this just goes right in order. So the larger, the more rotation barrier, okay? So let's talk, let's do this one down here. 
So we draw the Newman projection for the best and worst con conformation of the structure shown relative to the indicated bond. Use the third carbon on in the back. Okay, so uh, what that means is if I number this one, oh, no, one, two, three, four, it's the third carbon, right? I need to make sure we do that right. Um, what I want to do is let's talk about what that structure looks like. I'm going to redraw this, okay? So I'm going to draw it just the way that it is right there. Okay, I hope you agree. Let's talk about what else is on there then. This is a CH3. This is a CH2. This is a CH, CH2, CH3. And I want this bond. Meaning, and I want the third carbon in the back. That's what it's saying. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to change all these to red. Okay, so this carbon, the blue one, has one H, a CH3, and another CH3. That's on the front. The back one has a carbon, and let's rewrite this as an H, an H, and a CH3. So if I drew this one, so check this out. The back carbon, the red, I have a CH3, an H, and an H. Now it says best and worst. So what is a best? It's a stager. Now it has two CH3s here. So what I'm wanting, first off, let's just make a stager. Okay. So what I can do is if I put both, hold on a second, if I do this, why is that not best? The reason why is I am creating two gooshes, and gooshes create steric strain. So my choices is that I could bring at least one of the CH3s down here, and now I've only made one goosh. Now why that one? Why couldn't I have done this? I could have. It doesn't matter. But what I'm going to say is that this is the best. So that's a one goosh stager. You could do either one. But what's the worst? Well, the worst is going to be an eclipse. Now, here's a hint. Draw the back exactly the same way. But now I need to uh, place my blue ones in front. Now, which one is not the worst? The worst is not putting an H in front because that doesn't create as much of a steric strain. If I put a CH3 in front, at least then that CH3 over that CH3 is kind of like a total eclipse. And then I can pick the other CH3. So this is the worst. And you will get so much more practice and it will make so much more sense with all the examples on the Newman Projection Help Sheet uh, for the practice sheet if you uh, take a look at that. So I strongly suggest doing that. Uh, so those are uh, more or less the notes uh, that we needed to finish up for our Newman Projection. Please. Uh, get your house in order on this stuff, uh, and then move on to uh, working on your uh, Newman projection practice sheet.